All righty then. We are now on number five. That is correct. We are on station number five, and we have uh, a mystery material or mystery mixture of materials that I need you to look at. And then you are going to predict what these materials are. Let's see if you can see that. What is that down in there? Hmm, what do you think? I want you to go ahead. The teacher is going to stop the video. What do you think that stuff could be? I'll move it around a little bit more. Hmm, I wish you could smell it. Okay, maybe somebody got it. And if you didn't get it, that's okay. If you didn't know, that is, my friends, that is salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. All right? So it's a mixture, obviously, of salt and pepper. And you can see that, I, you know, I could probably take my tweezers and I could separate. That would take, that would take even longer than it took me to do uh, the birdseed mixture, right? <clears throat> and uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to try a couple different things. What, what do you think we should try? Obviously, I'm going to put it in the pan here. So uh, be thinking right now about how we could separate our mixture of salt and pepper. What do you think? Uh, now's the time to generate some thoughts and share those thoughts. Okay. I'm thinking that maybe you've shared your thoughts. All right, so uh, hopefully you had a few ideas about what you could do. Uh, we're going to try a couple of things, all right? We're going to start with a balloon. A balloon? Mr. Smith, what are you going to do with the balloon? Well, <clears throat> we're going to blow it up. <laughs> Whoops. Blow that baby up. I'm going to tie her off. And you know that cool thing you can do with balloons, if you have hair, is you can, rub, <laughs> you can rub it on your hair, but Mr. Smith doesn't have very much hair. So I'm going to use the carpet. I'm going to rub it on the carpet a little bit here and hope there's no staples uh, underneath my chair. All right. Let's see. Yeah, that's getting it done. There's like dirt hanging out on it. All right. Let's see if... Our electric shock or static electricity, I should say, is uh, going to help us to pick up some of this, uh, this, this, these materials. Let's see what we have here. Oh, looky there. Yeah, the static electricity, it does. It, it picks up. It picks up some of the uh, pepper there, and I really don't see, I don't see any salt at all on there, okay? So, it will pick up the pepper, but you know what? Look at, look at this. I'm kind of making a mess here. Um, how am I going to get it off of there, and how long is that going to take, you know? So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try something else. When, uh, what is that, what is that old saying? Uh, let's see, if, if at first, uh, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, Mr. Smith. Oh, it's cow say tongue. That's right. Hey, how are you doing today? Oh, I do very, very well. Very well. Uh, so you say that if at first we don't get it right, then we should try something different. Yes. Okay, so we try it, and then we try it again, and then what do we do next? Then you quit. No, 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 no. No, you don't try and then try and then quit. No, we don't do that. Well, I'm getting old, and that's what I feel like doing sometimes. I just want to quit. But we should try again and again and again until we get it right. You know, like Thomas Edison. It took him a thousand tries to get that that uh, perfect filament for the light bulb. Okay, that's right. All right, so you go on back over there and take a nap. That's Kao Se Tung. You know, he's very wise, very wise. And uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to try something else. What we are going to do this time is we're going to use the properties of the salt 
Think about the properties of the salt. What could we do to remove the salt from the pepper? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Salt dissolves in water, doesn't it? Does pepper dissolve in water? Well, let's find out. We're going to put ourselves, our salt and pepper is going to go into the water. Now, what we are actually making here now is called a solution because a solution is a mixture of something that dissolves in water and water or something that is dissolved within itself and look what happens with the pepper there the pepper is staying on top man that would be awful to taste this that would be terrible <clears throat> all right so if we have in there now our salt is dissolving the pepper is staying right on top of the water so after a while I could filter off the pepper off of the top it would be a kind of a messy production but I could put the, the pepper on something else or you know what else I could do I could use a really fine filter look at that it's a coffee filter Let's see what we can do with this, what kind of mess we can make here. All right, we are going to be smart and using another pan. And we're going to put our coffee filter inside the cup, kind of like that. And through the magic of television, I was able to secure a rubber band. All right, now, look at there. All right. We have salt that is dissolved in our solution here now. We have a solution. And the pepper is kind of up on top. We're going to pour that baby in there. Get all the goodie out of there. Now, if we do this correctly... We're going to take our rubber band off. The water depth in our cup is a little deeper. So I'm going to raise this up and let the water filter through. Get through there. I wonder if I could force it out of there by squeezing. Yeah, look at that. Now, my watercolor isn't great now. We've taken on some of the color of the pepper. But check it out. Look at that. We've got, now we have most of our pepper is on the bottom of our filter. If I let this dry, then I would have my pepper back. And the salt is inside this water. What could I do to remove the salt from my water again? Well, I could boil the water. And when the water evaporates off, as I'm boiling it, then it's going to leave the salt. Because salt does not evaporate. It's only water, H2O, that evaporates. Okay? So that would be a good way for us to separate the salt and the pepper. Now, you're going to go to your notes, and you're going to tell what tools might have worked. Uh, so we had one, we had the balloon. We had the balloon, and it kind of worked a little bit, right? That was our first try. And then our second try <clears throat> was that um, we uh, we put the the mixture into water, and we knew because we knew that the salt was soluble, it would dissolve in the water. And then we were able to use a coffee filter to separate the pepper from the salt water. And then we would use a pan and stove to burn off the water so that all we had left was the salt. All right. Now, on the very bottom of your page uh, 13, there's an explain section. All right. Uh, the next thing your teacher is going to do is they're going to show the slide 
that has a word bank for uh, that section. So you'll use the words from the word bank and you'll write them in to the blanks where they make the most sense. Okay, so good job on this activity. Uh, thanks for putting up with all of my weird videos. And uh, I hope you guys work really hard to finish that up and uh, show a lot of detail in your writing. All right, take care.